Well, yesterday at 5.30, we told you about Ocala's new MLK First Responder Campus and how the city hopes it will be a safe place for the entire community. Now, we're hearing that campus will include a first of its kind in Florida, a safe haven box for newborns. <laughs> News 6's Crystal Moyer talked to the woman whose own story inspired this life-saving device. Ocala's Fire Rescue Headquarters will soon house Florida's first safe haven baby box. Mom doesn't have to do anything except open the door, place the child inside. There's a heater, there's a cooling unit in it. Monica Kelsey is the founder and CEO of Safe Haven Baby Boxes. She says while all states have a safe haven law allowing mothers to surrender their newborns to hospitals and fire stations without fear of prosecution, she says officials are still finding one dead abandoned baby every three days. Kelsey says she almost wound up a part of that statistic. My biological father is a rapist and I was abandoned at birth, but my life still has value. And I wish that today uh, my birth mom would have had those resources all those years ago. After retiring as a firefighter and medic, Kelsey created a safety device that's installed into the wall of a fire station or hospital. Once the door is opened, a silent alarm is activated. These firefighters will know that there's a baby in their box 60 seconds after that child is placed. And 60 seconds is enough time for mom to get away. Kelsey says this will give mothers full anonymity and hopefully will reduce the number of abandoned babies. She says once the baby is inside, the outer door locks and only safety or medical personnel can access it. Right now, Kelsey says there are more than 50 active baby boxes across the U.S. Nearly 100 babies have been recovered from those boxes since 2016. I don't ever want a baby to be left dumped in this country, in a first world country at anything ever again. The safe haven baby box has been delivered to the Ocala Fire Rescue Headquarters and is expected to be installed to the first week of December. In Ocala, Crystal Moyer, Getting Results, News 6.